Some of the most viral music visuals in the past couple of years have featured an artist performing into an old school microphone that is dangling from what looks like the infinite abyss of space and time. I'm sure you've seen the mama don't worry guy on TikTok, aka Superstar Pride, who was offered a $3 million record deal after the visual for his song Painting Pictures went viral. Then he killed his barber and was arrested on first degree murder charges. How ironic. Today I'm going to deep dive into the history of these hanging mic videos, find out why they go viral, then implement my own hanging mic strategy with my friend Quay the Artist in hopes to get him a $3 million record deal. And I am willing to do whatever it takes to see my friend succeed. Many people believe it was Gunna who inspired this trend with his 2018 Colors performance. However, the first person to do it was British rapper Kadiata. Then Billie Eilish went viral, then Gunna, then J.I.D., Joji, Doja Cat. So it's safe to say that the Colors YouTube channel had a major impact. But you could even date it all the way back to Tim Westwood and Radio Freestyles in the early 2000s that have a similar setup. However, in 2021, a YouTube channel called Four Shooters Only started a series called From the Block, which featured various aspiring rappers performing in front of a sure Super 55 which is known for looking vintage but lacking the quality of the mics it's emulating. But what most people don't realize is that the microphone isn't even plugged into anything. It's just a prop. They are lip syncing their vocals like a normal music video. JMB Juvie's performance called Wicked earned nearly 10 million views. So me and my friend Quay created a four part plan. Make four hanging mic videos that go from simple to progressively more try hard as the weeks go on. We will be uploading these videos to his TikTok, YouTube, as well as trying to pay for some promotion. Now views are cool, but it doesn't really matter unless those views are translating to real music streams. The goal is to get 1 million streams in one month, but we'll settle for 999,000. Let me just ask you this. What song and what does the visual look like? In my mind, I see the hanging mic floating instead of hanging from an XLR cable. A stationary shot, lighting's good. We'll start the strategy with that. Yeah, yeah. still dripping off me, I hope you got gills. Drown in my presence, come see how it feels. Following Quay's vision definitely looked good, but it didn't go viral or get substantial views because there isn't anything particularly unique about the setting. After all, we filmed inside of a studio. You basically need a good setting and one thing in the video that is a talking piece. For phase two, our setting is going to be a kitchen. We kind of want to portray the idea that Quay is a dishwasher and his boss is letting him spit a verse while he's working. The only problem is Quay is not actually a dishwasher and we don't have a spare commercial kitchen. So we got to get creative. Boom, we got the black apron, we got the white tee, and then we got the black gloves. I'm looking apart. I don't know, I'm ready to pull a little double shit. Right now we're on our way to a place called Parlor in OKC. It's essentially like a food hall or like a cafeteria style restaurant where it just has a bunch of mini restaurants in it. We feel like this is our best opportunity to get access to a kitchen. Let's see what happens. Once we got to Parlor, Quay asked this man if we could use his restaurant. His name is Steve and he said yes, but we had to wait until tomorrow. So I'm on my way to the shoot right now, it's 10 o'clock. He told us to come after the place closes and I'm a little bit worried. I don't know how long he thinks this is gonna take, but usually it takes like 30 minutes or an hour and I don't wanna irritate him, so we're gonna have to do this really fast. We arrived at Parlor around 10 p.m. after Steve worked a 12 hour shift. We struggled to make the mic look like it was hanging from the ceiling and also have it face Quay's mouth and spent about 20 minutes just finicking with the mic, trying to twist the cable so that it sits in the perfect position until ultimately rigging it up and barely making it work. We were preventing Steve from going home and could feel him breathing down our necks. We filmed like three or four different angles and after a full hour, we finally got what we needed and luckily he wasn't too mad. Right. Time to edit, hopefully it's good enough. Yeah. Noah chopped this up. Let's see what we got. That's hard. Let's post the TikTok like now, right now. Yeah? Yeah, right now. This nigga feeling inspired, y'all. <laughs> we made three or four different TikToks that all look similar, but showcase different parts of the song. And here's our strategy. We're gonna post one every other day. We will also post the full music video on Quay's YouTube channel. As far as budget goes, Quay's dishwasher outfit cost us $67 and the videographer cost us 150. Luckily, we didn't have to pay to use the kitchen. I'll see you right here in a week. So, 
It's been a week and we don't have the results that we wanted. The first kitchen video we posted actually did pretty well. It got a thousand views, which is like double what Quay normally gets. Second one did 600. Then the third one actually did 2000 views, 194 likes. I thought maybe that one had some legs on it. Quay tried to respond to some of the comments with more videos of the song, but didn't really do anything. <sighs> I'm a little disappointed, but I have a much better plan for phase two. Quay found this video on Twitter that has 17 million views. The artist is called Lay Banks and her song Ick went viral. Everyone commenting and sharing the post are saying two things. One, the song is bad. Or two, why are the gas prices so high? So I had an idea. What we could do is film below a gas station and just digitally change the price of gas. Make that motherfucker like $10 or some shit like that. Off to the gas station. We found a gas station in downtown OKC with the perfect sign that we could digitally alter. The prices were $2.89 and $3.42, but Noah just copy pasted the $8 and $9 to make the prices $8.89 and $9.42. But we figured the prices alone wouldn't be enough of a talking point, so we tried to throw a little joke in there. Are y'all ready to see the secret weapon? The broom, baby. You see, most people don't actually know how these videos are filmed. That's where the broom comes in and this ladder. I'm gonna stand on the ladder, hold the broomstick out, dangle the mic from it, and people are gonna genuinely think that's how we film this high quality music video, but we're only gonna do it for like 15 seconds just to get a good shot, sell the joke, move on. Genius. I'm a genius. Back in the lab, so let me know which one of these is gonna go viral. If you know it's hard! It's the stiffness. That was hard, bro. Put points up on the board. He checked 500 degrees. When you hot haters can't ignore it. The guy should pop it like it's cool grease. This is perfect. You know, I really had a good feeling going into this, but. I have more disappointing news. So the first TikTok we posted did 1700 views, which is above average for Quay's profile. And as we suspected, a lot of people were commenting about the gas prices, which was good, but I guess not enough to send it into the algorithm. The only two people who commented about me holding the broom were the two people that I actually sent it to. Shout out to Rob Olu and Beku San. Then we posted the next one. It got 800 views. One comment about the gas prices, one comment about the broom, and then the next two just totally flopped. The views were just going down and down. We also posted the full video on his YouTube and it just kind of did the standard amount of views it normally does. But we really felt confident in this video. I mean, people were commenting about the gas, which was our intention. I personally thought the broom thing was funny, but I guess nobody else did. <laughs> But we didn't want to give up and we thought maybe it's just Quay's low follower count that's not getting him more views. So we decided to pay for a little bit of promotion. We paid the Twitter account Rappler 60 bucks to tweet out the video. And although we did get 56,000 views on Twitter, that kind of means nothing. Although I think the heat check video was great and we executed it perfectly, I have one more idea. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting desperate. But we will get seen, we will go viral. All right, boys, desperate times calls for desperate measures. We got to tag in Squiddy. Bro, this is the best investment I've ever made. Let's go. Come here, you little rat. John, come down here. Dude, this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot? No. <laughs> I feel great, baby. <laughs> Find the hardest. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm not. <laughs> What's good? Shit. Damn! Oh, oh <laughs> shit! What the? F <laughs> oh my God! You all over my face. Look at this nigga. <laughs> I don't know, something about, I just wanna box you. Ow. Quay has a song called Cannot Dance and we thought it would be funny to have a massive Squidward dancing behind him in the back rooms. We all had a fun time with the costume and I feel like the videos turned out pretty good. He said, he said I ain't high, but this bitch a fan. Honey times 10, bitch I'm feeling grand. And when we posted the first video to TikTok, it gained 1,000 views faster than any of the previous ones before. But then, 
it kind of peaked at just over 2,000 views and not a single person commented about the Squidward costume. How is that possible? Is that not the reason why it got more views than all the other TikToks? How do you see a massive, goofy, cursed Squidward in the background of a song, a good song, and you don't even comment? <sighs> Honestly, all I've learned from this experience is that you can have really high quality visuals, you can have objectively good music, and you can even try to do some stupid gimmick to play into the algorithm and going viral is all just lucked. Lucked. That's what I said. Lucked. I'm an idiot. Luck. We spent a total of $927 trying to promote these four songs. Stu, Heat Check, and Cannot Dance did not have an increase in streams whatsoever. Erupt, which was the kitchen video, had a small boost of 90 streams, then immediately returned back to normal. And now, I kind of just feel like I failed my friend Quay, and I hope he's not disappointed in me. I thought people would like me. 